Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. So at the end of the last episode, we were testing out Shitbot's human interaction skills. We found out he's, well, shitty. He's a shitty shitbot. And he went up, up, and away and disappeared when he was trying to go to the metro station. So I've come up here and, well, what do you know, here he is. Apparently he doesn't realize that humans do not have the ability to fly, unlike him. You flying AC unit. You know, most humans can't fly. Most? Well, all. All humans can't fly. It's easy. You engage rear propulsion and horizontal gyros. Yeah, no. I'm crossing service industry off the list. Let's try something else. What do you want me to do next? You've got to be good at something. Maybe we can test your ability to interface with other bots. Can you send a message to other bots in the area? See if any of them need assistance. I'm not really very good with messages. Give it a shot. I don't handle rejection well. <laughs> Can't you do it? I hope Mira didn't pay a lot for you, because honestly... There are a bunch of bots working in Sun and Shine Plaza. Let's go there. Engaging thrusters. Watch the rooftops for assassins. Will do. Seriously? Assassins everywhere! <laughs> Not really, no. That's just what an assassin would say! It's between Wolf and Ominska, isn't it? Gross and Rebus are not even... There's no way you can convince me that Kaiser Constantine... Do you really have to call him that? Are we there yet? So I says to him, I says, so you can't pass through here, Bruder. You need to turn back and head home. Oh, this has got to be it. Yeah. Ah, there's another one. It's another one of your kin. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Scare away the birds. Disengaging thrusters. See anything? I feel very awkward around bots. Are you ever comfortable? I relate well to pitches. <laughs> I can imagine. You can use manual override to point me at another bot and engage assist tools. The Sunshine Plaza by OCG. I guess I'll have to. Consumer goods, making your life a little brighter. Try it. There we go. Wait, does that not count? Oh. Yeah, interact with the pigeons. Wait! <laughs> oh my god, shitbot. All right, you had your fun. Original consumer goods would like to remind you not to stare directly at our son, as it may cause blindness. Ah, there's one. Tumors. No, I don't want to help him. I have a bad feeling about him. Seriously? Maintenance bots doing the jobs humans are no longer qualified to do. Sooner or later, there will be an uprising. Right. What about this one welding? Ooh, look at those pretty particles. I hope all the civilians know not to look at the welding light. Original consumer goods, bringing sunshine into How about that one? Affirmative. Okay. Greetings, fellow bot. I shall assist you with who? What is that? Uh. Huh. Pretty. All right, you're not completely useless. I don't think that's what you're supposed to be doing. I feel tingly. I think. 
I think. I think this is happiness. I think I feel happy. What is this thing I'm doing? You're welding, but that's not welding. Welding. I like welding. Great, but you're supposed to be welding. 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 I'm happy for you, but this wasn't part of the plan. I don't think Mira's planning to use you for that. I like welding. Fine. Let's go. But what about the welding? Let it go, and let's go. Affirmative. I will stop doing this thing that I love and that makes me feel happy and fall fell to follow you to the next stop on our pointless depressing journey. What do you want me to do next? There you go. Now you're getting the idea. Original consumer goods. Bringing sunshine into your life. Hmm. Security program or repair program? Well, obviously it likes to repair. However, it also was a protection bot for a mobster or something like that, right? So obviously it would be pretty good at security. But what it really wants to do seems to be repair, so let it do what it wants to do. Time to check out your repair program. We'll look for something you can repair. Affirmative. Scanning city net for repair requests. Scanning. Scanning. Any luck? Scanning. Scanning. I think we should just... Scanning. <laughs> Complete. Repair request located. Follow. Human. Zoe. No, that's not my name. Oh my that's god. That's my name. I fail to see the relevance. You know what your problem is? You're an asshole. That's Original your problem. Consumer goods. Rebuilding the new yeah, you're a shitty shitbot. You can't pass through here, Bruder. I've heard that story like three times. This is really far away. Ah, here we go. City net reports broken wiring in this location. I will need specific instructions to proceed. Can't you just, you know, fix it? I need specific instructions to proceed. Honestly, you're useless. Well, let's see what we got. What a mess of wires. Looks like the fuse is blown. I don't have a death wish. Particularly when it involves high voltage and molten sparks. This is what we invented bots for. Yeah, this is all Greek to me. Greek wiring. <laughs> okay, fuse? Is that detailed enough instructions? Oh, do it yourself maintenance. Fuse panel, okay, so probably needs to know what wattage. What's the amp? I mean, amperage. So that's the bottom left one that's burnt out. So, 12 amp. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is this? Replacement fuses, I believe. Oh, there we go. 
Replacement fuses, I believe. Yeah, 12 amp one should be the right one. Maybe Wick can do his magic and create a better personality for Rust Bucket here. Any personality would be vastly better than the current one. Go get the fuses or go replace them. Well, go to the Murdoch fuse first. Bit over there. Fix that bit. Your call, human. I'm only doing what I'm told. What are you doing? Oh, oops. Uh, now there's two broken fuses. Or, well, I don't even know if that's the fuse that's broken. I think it's the whole damn junction box that's broken or whatever that is. Well, now it's the 12 and the 20 amp. I broke it more. Please <laughs> advise. You broke it more? How did you break it more? Unknown. Maybe I'm not very good at repairs? Yes, I think that's the correct answer. I'm really not very good at repairs. You don't say. We better leave before the police shows up. What do you want me to do next? Oh, I can't even actually repair it? But there's like the amperage thing and everything. I wonder if... I wonder if there's a way to actually complete that successfully. All right, let's try out your security. How about testing your security program? Affirmative. Activating security routines. Security routines are locked and encrypted. There's a warning message. Any attempt to breach this bot's encryption will be reported to syndicate mainframes and perpetrators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Disengaging encryption and engaging security routines. Oh, Jesus, no, don't... Uh... Citizen, step back. Civilian bot, disengage your military software immediately or face destruction. You have ten seconds to comply. Do what it says. Thank you for complying. Any further attempts to breach security seals will be met with immediate destruction. Have a wonderful day. Don't ever do that again. Affirmative. She was nice. Do you think she liked me? No. No. I think so. She was nice. What is your command, human? How will I be tested now? I think that's it. Your testing is complete. I think I did well. I did well, didn't I? That went well. Oh. It might even be appropriate to say that I aced it. Sure. Let's head back to Pandemonium, okay? I can do that too. Follow me, human. And I never got to repair that. Oh. Hold on, hold on. I can't grab the fuses myself, can I? Replacement fuses, I believe. Repla re 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 replacement I fuses, I believe. I really want to fix that. It seems the follower has become the followee. Follow me, shit butt. Well, okay, now you're winning. Come on, just give me a couple more seconds, I'll beat you. Yes, I'm in the lead! I'm in the lead! Haha, I got here first. Alright, just teleport inside. Very, very good, shit butt. Okay, let's read a little bit more of her journal. Uh, where did I leave off? Uh, I think it was this one. Number five. Yep. This is after she just moved to Europolis, I believe. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the next one. Monday, April 24th. Actually, hold on. 
see if I can get away from that kind of loud noise. There we go. Better. Much better. Monday, April 24th. I started therapy today. Dr. Roman Zelenka, psychotherapist. Good head of hair. Dorky suit. Reza found him. He came recommended from someone at the hand. He's nice. I like him. There is chemistry. I can talk to him. He didn't push me or any of my very large buttons. Of course, it's all therapist smoke and mirrors, but I don't mind. If I don't see strings being pulled, I don't care. Also, it's a five minute walk from home. Convenient. On that note, I do need to start working out. The food is pretty awesome here in Propast. I'm still not quite sure what therapy is going to do. Help me remember. I do want to remember. How much and how fast, I don't know yet. I'll take things as they come, I guess. I'm adaptable. Adaptable Zoe. Tomorrow, I start looking around for something locally. A job where I can use at least a few of my skills. Or my head. Failing that, my body and... Wait, failing that... Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. A job where I can use at least a few of my skills, or my head, failing that, and my body, and oh, no, that doesn't sound right at all. I prefer something in tech, but I'm not picky. Whatever comes my way, I'll manage. Thursday, April 27th. So here are three facts about our tiny flat in the sun... I can't pronounce that, plaza terraces. One, it's tiny. It's the size of my bedroom in Casablanca. If you didn't include the balcony. Two, it smells weird. Three, the window looks straight into a brick wall with neon signs on it. <laughs> but I love it. We have our own place. I couldn't wish for anything more. I feel liberated. I feel like myself again. Well, sort of. A forgetful amnesiac self. Half Zoe, but a better half. Sunday, April 30th, 2220. Project Find a Friend, or Five, has begun. It sounds so desperate, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try and build a life for myself here, and part of that is having friends, right? The lady with the food cart outside Dr. Zelenka's office is one of my projects. She's really weird and a bit too intense, but I like her. Nella, was it? Yeah, Nella. She's on my list. My list of candidates. Friends candidates. If anyone ever finds out about this list, I will have to kill them. Sully's on the list too. Sully's a friend, but he's also Reza's best friend, so I can't hijack him and make him my best friend. Also, I'm starting to think Sully might have the teensiest crush on me. He's sweet though. A true... mensch? I have no idea what that is. Okay, let's leave it for there. There's about three more to go, I think. So, about Shitbot. You're back. Congratulations. You managed to take a tin can for a walk. You, Shitbot. Come over here, let me take a look. Affirmative human! Let's see how little Miss University Dropout did today. Failed at human interaction. Failed at maintenance work. Failed at bot-to-bot -bot communication failed at everything. That wasn't just shit. That was sub-shit. A shit taken by a shit. We're delving into the filthy nether regions of shittiness here. That was a slap in the fucking face with a giant shit. Ugh. I give up. I'm writing this one off. Shitbot will be taking one final trip to the scrap heap. Maybe I can sell it for parts. Recover at least some of my investment. Really? Do you have to do that? He seemed to enjoy welding. Yes! What about the welding? Welding? Don't talk to me about welding. There's no plata in welding! Well, more than selling him for parts, right? Fuck. Whatever. Yeah. I'll try and sell the fucking thing to a local contractor. 
Who knows? Maybe we can still save this dump from the creditors for another month. I have no more use for you today, Betel. You can bugger off to your waste of breath campaign work. You support the Social Democrats, don't you? Of course I do. Doesn't mean I think things will change. I just think it's time the mother toads in charge were swapped out for a new set of fuckers. Make sure you get a good night's sleep, Petal. Long day ahead tomorrow. So don't spend all night bouncing on top of that journalist boy toy of yours. I'll make sure to tell him. See you tomorrow, Wit. <laughs> Alright, have a nice day, asshole. Go to the Leah Uminska campaign headquarters right next to the synagogue in the Sauk. Sauk? To meet up with it. Baruti Mafain. I did see that place. I'm not sure I remember where it actually is, though. It was kind of like almost down an alleyway. Like it was nearly at the end of a place. Let's see if I can find it on my own. I want to try to navigate this place without using the map. I think it might be up here on the left. <laughs> the guy was like, down with... And they just shut up. Da down with what? The Leah sign is up there, but I don't think it's actually down there. I think it might be up here on the left. Maybe. You look like you could need some directions, miss. No, no, I think I'm good. Was it here? Maybe not. No, I guess not. Shit. Move along. Nothing to see here. Okay, here we go. I think I was almost next to it before. Yeah, here it is. Not again. When did this happen? Hey, CC. Last night, the Fashos even saluted the camera. Bloody Omegas. Think they're untouchable. Do you need any help? With this, I got it. There's more important things for you to do. You should get a decommissioned military drone from Mira. Go ballistic on their asses. Yeehaw! Yeah, that'd teach him. <laughs> Behind this sweet facade lurks a lioness. It's tempting, but then we'd have to deal with the eye as well. <laughs> I'll just keep cleaning up the mess until Constantine's goons admit defeat. Oh, by the way, Sissi. Did you see the update? Eish! Two points! Not bad. Not bad. Uh, yeah, two points. It's awesome. What? I really should have checked his feed before coming, but it'll only take a few seconds to get updated. I'm not tuned into the campaign 24-7 like Baruti. To be honest, when I'm not volunteering, I don't think that much about it. That part I don't have to tell him, though. Eh, I'm not gonna fake it. No, but one moment, let me check your stream. Oh, hey, that's fantastic. We're heading in the right direction. Our biggest jump in weeks. Ah, two points. That's something to celebrate. Uminska invited all the managers to join her tonight in Warsaw for the live feed. You going? If I finish up in time, of course. When did I ever say no to a party? I have a plus one, if you're interested. Hmm. Do I want to go? I know this is important to Baruti, and I know I'm not as committed to the campaign as he wants me to be, but Rez is taking care of dinner, and we were planning a relaxing evening at home. Couch in a movie sounds awesome right now, and if I'm being honest with myself, I'm really not that interested in listening to Ominska's speech, or partying with her flock. Hmm... I probably haven't been as committed to the campaign work as Baruti wants me to be. 
This could be an opportunity to show that I care. Only, I really don't want to go. Rez is making dinner, and it's our first full evening back at home after Trieste. Oh, I don't know. It would make Baruti super happy, and I'm sure Reza will understand. Hmm, should she go? I really don't know. I mean, she obviously doesn't want to. I wouldn't want to. But... I, know, I, I, hmm. I probably haven't been as committed to the campaign. Alright, I'll do it. Sounds fun. I'm in. When do we leave? Around six o'clock. I'll find out and let you know after we're done here today. How was Trieste? I think I see a tan. Good. They have this thing in the sky. I don't know what it's called. It's big and yellow and made of fire and it's super hot. So awesome. I remember the sun from Botswana. They have that there too, but it's much bigger, and much nicer. Meh, you're such a warm dusha, Baruti. Who needs the sun when you have the clammy, sticky heat of Propast in July? <laughs> so what's the plan, Stan? Today, there's delicate work to do. Do you know Queenie? Queenie? No, I don't think... Wait, the Babka on the boat, out by the bricks? That's it. Teta Queenie basically runs the Chinese market. She's the only one who dares stand up to Mr. London. How does an old woman stand up to organized crime? When you meet Queenie, you'll understand. Everyone in the Bricks respects her. Everyone in Propast. And that's why you're going to talk to her. Me? Me? Baruti, you're so much better at this than me. Even if that's true, I can't. I'm meeting with some local business owners from the Shook. I need to stay put. Yeah, all right. Sure. I'll do my best. So, um, what am I actually doing? Pay Queenie our respects. Let her know that she's a friend to the party and that we're very happy with how she runs things. Ask if there's anything we can do for her. And... I'm sensing an and. There's always an and. Ask her for her support and endorsement. It will have a big impact on our campaign in this barrio. So that's all. Beg one of the most powerful people in Propass for a favor. That's all, Sissy. Easy, yeah? <laughs> oh, and uh, you might need this. Crypto coin? What for? I have monies. Have you ever shopped in the bricks, Sissy? Folks there aren't too fond of traceable funds. They prefer platter. Cash, not credit. And no banks. I've loaded it with me yuan. Please keep any receipts. Our benefactors are generous with the petty cash, but they demand documentation. Wait, the merchants in the brick prefer untraceable cash, but they're fine giving out chits. Where's the logic in that? Maybe they're designed to obfuscate. Hide a deeper meaning, like fragments or ancient maps. Aish, what do I know? Just ask for the receipts, Sissy. Gotcha, receipts. Well, I guess I'm off. Wish me luck. Maybe I won't jump into the river from sheer embarrassment of making an ass of myself. Makoya! When you come back, Ooh. we'll make plans for tonight. We teleported. Kinda. Alright. The bricks, the bricks, the bricks. I don't remember where the bricks actually are. I remember I went to somewhere in the bricks, but I don't remember where that was. Was that my apartment? That was in the bricks? No, it was the hand that feeds that was in the bricks, right? I should probably look at a map again. I'm just a guy with guitar. Moored in the bricks. Oh, so it's a boat. Uh, what happened to be this one? No, that's a shipping boat, isn't it? Is this it? No, that's a ferry. On any other day, I'd be telling you to step aboard and hold tight. 
When I ring the bell, the ferry will take you across. But there'll be no bell ringing now that the Eye has shut down all unauthorized traffic in and out of Propast. My bell has been silenced. I have no purpose in life. My condolences. Crowbar is here to help you find your way in Propast. Oh yeah, now. Hey, you lost crowbar. We buy take. Can you direct me to the Chinese market? You looking to do some shopping in the bricks? Well, oh. shut. Say ni hao to the Chinese market for me. It was a pleasure serving you this fine day, miss. Yeah, I'm already here. All right, so it's one of these boats. Ah, uh, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be the fanciest looking one, right? No? No, oh, yeah, there it is. Queenies. How old can she be? Fourteen? For someone her age, she projects a lot of authority. Very intense stare. Good day. Welcome to Queenie's Quintessentials. Are you looking for anything in particular? I'm looking for Queenie. Oh, the madame's not seeing anyone at the moment. I can show you her latest creations if you'd like. I'm not shopping. I need to speak with Queenie. Could you ask her if she has a moment? That depends. Did you bring anything? Bring anything? Like what? Madame Queenie is a respected figure in this community. In order to see her, you need to show respect. A gift. Something of value. Something that proves you're here to discuss important matters. What would that be? I'm sure you'll find something that reflects your taste and the value you place on a potential meeting with the Madame. Something such as... money? I'm sure you can do better than... that. Okay. Something like not money? Gift of respect and great value is required to gain an audience with Queenie. Hmm. I know I shall buy this statue here. From you, I will buy something from Queenie and give it to Queenie. Yes. Well, let's take a look at what's for sale. Looks like cheap liquor, but what do I know about liquor? Beer, on the other hand. Chinese lions. Most likely made of moon dust. I've heard that stuff causes rashes. The moon dust, not the lion. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for? I can get you a good deal on anything you want. Most of the stuff seems kind of the same. He doesn't want to talk to me. They call it the Chinese market, but it's a mix of everything and everyone. Ooh. No, Cuc no, 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 no. Cucumbers. That's Cavada, a total ripoff. Wait, ladies first. I'll give you three fifty for it, and not one quai more. Three fifty? Are you mocking me? That's less than what I pay. At that price, I'll be losing money. Three sixty, and that's my final offer. Yeah, the that's it. That's the price you give to strangers. How many times have I shopped here? I thought we were friends. You're disrespecting me with that price. Three fifty. How do you expect me to be able to feed my children, make rent, pay Mr. London for protection? Three sixty. 350. 360. I'm not going anywhere above 350. I'm not going anywhere below 360. I can do this all day. 350, final offer. So can I. 360, that's my final offer. 350. 360. I'm not going anywhere above 350. Are, are they literally going to do I'm this all day? I'm not going anywhere below 360. I can do this all day. 350, final offer. Oh my offer. god. Can you see that I'm busy with a customer? Busy wasting your time? 350. Uh, please don't interrupt. These are delicate negotiations. <laughs> okay. Have fun with that. 350. This one contains real comet ice. I'm not going anywhere above 350. Comet ice good for your libido, I'm not real going or otherwise. Anywhere. Ice is ice. Yeah. Ancient Chinese medicine. 
so reliable. Salu, what are you having? Apparently nothing. There are so many dream junkies around. Hmm. What would make a good gift? Honestly, I don't know. You know, you don't have to stop here. I don't have anything. You know, you don't have to stop and pretend you're interested. I know. I don't have anything. You're making a smart decision there. I don't think I can actually buy anything from these places. I'm not really into the whole web mm. Well, I'll come up with something before the beginning of the next episode. You look like you could need some directions, miss. Let's end the episode by reading a bit more of the journal. Maybe we can finish it. Where did I leave off? Mm, actually, no, it's quite long. But let's do one more. Well, that was easy. I have a job. I think. I was in the Chinese market. What they call the bricks, because... Bricks? Browsing for tea. When my iris popped up with a notification about a job posting just a few blocks away. Trainee Neural Engineer wanted ASAP. Unreasonably long hours, ship pay, contact Mira at the Pandemonium. I don't know, I found that intriguing. The place, Pandemonium, looked shady from the outside and even shadier on the inside. And Mira turned out to be incredibly offensive, but something about her reminded me of my friend Liv. Also, the job sounds interesting. It's a trainee position, and they'll have to do a lot, uh, a ton of non-neural programming stuff like deliveries and bot assembly. But I think I'll learn a lot. And it's a complete left turn for me, something completely different. Which is good. At the same time, it's also like I'm following in Liv's, uh, Olivia DeMarco's footsteps, honoring her memory. She was always trying to teach me, and she kept asking me to start working for her. Of course, back then, I lacked the motivation and drive. But now, I want to learn. I want to do something with my life. I don't know if this is it, but it's something. We'll see where it goes. Mira didn't really confirm whether I got the job or not, but she also said to stop by at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, yes. We'll see how that plays out, I guess. Her partner, Wit, didn't say a word when I was there. Amira kept insulting him, but it didn't look like it bothered him at all. He seems like a gentle giant, but is he mute? He didn't even look at me once. I'm not sure I get him yet. He is huge though, massive, a mountain. Yes he is, he's very large. Alright, this one is freaking massive, so I'm gonna wait for that one. Uh, let's see, I believe, yeah, I read that one. I don't know if I read that one, so we only got like two or three more to go. Alright. So, I hope you've... Yeehaw! Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I will find something to pay my respects to Queenie.